This story is all about the charge air cooling change we're making here in Dyno 2. All right, this is a highly efficient, low pressure drop system, large inlet and outlet. So we're using all the surface area on each side. We've got reinforcements, so this thing won't oil can or blow apart if the boost is in the hundreds of pounds. The body, of course, is billet. Water goes in through half the core, hits the turnaround cap, and returns through the other half of the core. So this is a two pass on the cold side, one pass on the hot side. So using Using this core, you can sustain about 1,200 horsepower forever. In our dyno cell, because we can control it, I can duplicate the ocean. I can do a liquid coupled air to liquid to air. I can intercool between the first compressor and the second one with a compound turbo system, but we will not run out of charge air cooler in either one of those dynos when I'm done.